how did the jury reach this decision? Of course, we'll never know what happened during deliberations unless somebody writes a book, and that's not out of the question, I guess. But what did they ultimately, what conclusion did they ultimately have to come to in order to reach this verdict? So there's a way in which probably their work was rendered easier by the fact that even though there were 34 counts in the indictment that they had to consider, the 34 counts all were for the same crime. So it was the same elements that the jury had to consider for each and every one of those 34 counts. And each of those 34 counts was related to a different record of the Trump organization. Um, but um, the government's case was that all of these 34 records were part of a common scheme to falsify the records of the Trump organization to conceal another crime and so, so long as the jury essentially credited the proof about what that scheme was, then in a sense, it was fairly easy for them to reach a verdict of guilty on each and every one of the 34 counts without having to go through too carefully the records as to each and every one of the 34 counts. And to render a guilty verdict as they did, what they had to find was that those 34 records were false and that they were falsified um, either by Trump himself or the real theory here was Trump caused others to falsify these records in order to conceal a conspiracy to promote Trump's candidacy for office through unlawful means. And the chief unlawful means that the prosecution argued was that it were um, the unlawful means were illegal campaign contributions by Michael Cohen to Trump's candidacy for office. Scan this QR code to go to the Apple and Spotify podcast apps to download the full 538 Politics podcast. 